Hi, my name is Ashwin Subantor, an history instructor, and today I'm going to introduce you to the hotspot analysis tool in ArcGIS Pro. If you're looking to move beyond basic density visualizations and into statistically rigorous spatial analysis, the hotspot analysis tool is meant for you. Unlike heat maps, which primarily display areas of high feature concentrations, hotspot analysis employs the Gettys or GI star statistic. This technique identifies locations where high or low values cluster in a way that is statistically significant, providing deeper insights. Let's consider some technical use cases. Let's say you are a GIS analyst, and you might find spatial anomalies in environmental data such as pollution levels or habitat suitability requiring further investigations. Or you might be an urban planner who wants to pinpoint hotspots of economic activity or deprivation to inform infrastructure development and resource allocation. In this tutorial, I'll use data obtained from S3 China Hong Kong Limited, available at data.gov.hk, and I will choose the appropriate conceptualization of spatial relationships, execute the hotspot analysis tool, and critically interpret the results. So I have the data from Hong Kong looking at air pollutant concentration over a 24-hour period across two different types of monitoring stations, the general monitoring stations in blue and the roadside monitoring stations in orange. So I want to head over to the Analysis tab and click Tools under the Geoprocessing group. And I'm going to type in Hotspot Analysis. And here I get the first option, Hotspot Analysis, Gettys or GI Star. Click that. And I have different parameters I need to input. So the first parameter would be the input feature class. That would be the air pollutant concentration. And under the input field, I'm going to look for the PM 2.5 uh, data. And if I scroll all the way down, here's my PM 2.5. And for the output feature class, I'm going to leave the label as it is. Uh, right now it's the air pollutant concentration underscore hotspots, but you can rename it as you wish. And the next parameter is an important one. It's called the conceptualization of spatial relationships. There are different types of conceptualizations. And the one I'm going to use is the fixed distance band. And I'm going to set a threshold distance of about five kilometers. And what this really does is it gives that threshold distance between different hotspot or cold spot values and really helps you visualize your hotspot analysis better. And so I'm going to hit run. And what I'm going to find on the map is I'm going to look at the different types of hot and cold values. And I'm going to quickly turn off the air pollutant concentration. You have the air pollutant concentrations underscore hotspots with the cold spots and the hot spots, the different values that are nicely kind of listed out here. And then on the map, I see different hot spots. So if I go over to Hong Kong city itself, I see that there are these hot spots around the Hong Kong island. Understandably so, because you have a, a large urban area, a lot of pollution as a result of a lot of urban uh, activity. So that's understandable. But if you head over to the northeastern part of Hong Kong uh, in Grass Island, you see that there's a cold spot, so not a whole lot of PM2.5 concentration. And you can see that there's a lot of green space, there's a park next door. So this really is not going to let any of those harmful particulates to get in. So in this way, you can really spend a lot of time looking at different parts of Hong Kong, and in this case, why you have certain areas with higher PM2.5 or lower PM2.5. And so in this way, you can use your hotspot analysis to really go to the next level and do a deeper dive. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in the next one.